Filters in HelpSpot allow you to view and organize requests in a number of different ways. Filters are all listed over on the left-hand side panel here. And as you can see, you can have folders uh, for filters to belong to as well. So a great example of a very simple filter is this all open filter that I already have here. I'll just go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, this filter is gonna show me all of my open requests inside of HelpSpot, regardless of who they're assigned to. Filters are gonna look very similar to the inbox or my queue areas of HelpSpot. And you can access all of the basic functions like peeking at a request, entering a request, and viewing information about the request. Let's go ahead and build a new filter and we'll look at what that process looks like. So I've gone ahead and selected the Create Filter button. And now the first thing I'm prompted for is a filter name. So another good example of what you might wanna use a filter for is say you wanna view all of the requests that are in a certain category. So in my example here, I'm gonna view all of my HR requests. Now down below my filter name here, I have my filter criteria. Currently, this filter is going to show all requests that are open. I can go ahead and add a new criteria by clicking on the green plus sign, and then select the property that I wanna filter on. In this case, I'm gonna select the category. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select my human resources category. Now I can go ahead and run this filter and see my results. Now, if this looks all good at this point, I can go ahead and save this filter. And now you can see my HR filter is listed over on the left-hand side here, and I can access the results uh, whenever I want to simply by clicking on that filter. Now, let's say I wanted to go ahead and make some changes to this filter to customize the information a little bit more. To do that, I'll go ahead and click on the Options button and then choose Edit Filter. Now I'm brought back to the same interface where I was before uh, and I can begin editing this filter. So one thing you might wanna do with a filter is not just have it for yourself, but share it with uh, other people who are using HelpSpot. Over here, I can set my filter permissions. I can choose to share this filter with everyone or I can choose to share the filter with a specific permission group or even a specific list of staff members. We'll go ahead and share this filter with everyone. Now I can switch over to the options area and now I can start to control how this filter is going to display inside of the workspace. First off, I can control how these requests are going to be ordered when I'm viewing them. Uh, in this case, maybe I want them to be ordered by the last time they were updated. I can also choose what columns I want to be displayed inside of the grid. So in this case, I'm going to add the status selection to the grid. I can also choose to rearrange these columns and remove columns that I maybe don't need. Down below, I have a number of other view options. In this case, I'm going to turn on a grouping. Now, a grouping allows me to group similar requests together based on a number of criteria. And this will provide some visual separation and make the filter more useful. In this case, I'm going to group the filter by who the request is assigned to. As you can see, I also have a number of other display options here that I can control. I'll go ahead and save my edits. And now you can see that my filter looks significantly different. I have my new column set up that I selected and my new grouping that I have selected too. So now all of the requests are grouped by who they are currently assigned to. Now it's good to be aware of some of the other functions that you have once you've created your filter. First off, I can switch my view over to a note stream view. Now this is gonna change the view from the grid view that we were just looking at over to a live stream of all of the updates to the requests that meet these criteria. So instead of grouping all of the uh, updates by 
the request ID. This is a chronologically ordered list. This is great if you're just trying to see what's happening in a number of requests all at once. I also have the option to access a RSS feed for this filter. And I can also export the results of this filter as a CSV file for processing inside of a spreadsheet application like Excel or for importing into another system.